I'm winning the Impact World Championship at Slammiversary. Slammiversary, Saturday, July 15th on pay-per-view. <laughs> Celebrating 20 years of Impact Wrestling. You mentioned all those teams from years past. This is one of the most influential in the history of this company. That these two men were on the, the very first TNA broadcast 20 years ago. And, and he, you see the six pack in the hand of James Storm. What else is new? I mean, you got them boys and the Good Brothers, they, they know how to have a party. Look at the tag team wrestling royalty in this ring. You know, me and this guy was sitting in the back and we said, hell, those four guys are just like us. They only know two things, fighting and drinking. And seeing that, uh, you two out here fighting and beating the crap out of each other already. I say it's time to do a little drinking here in Nashville, Tennessee. There you go. So I say, I say we make a little toast because there's one thing that I always loved about TNA Impact Wrestling is that tag team wrestling has always thrived right here. All right. You know, when this place first started, there was haters and doubters that said this place would never last one week, one month, one year. 20 years later, our is still here. Yeah. So, to the haters and the doubters, I only got one thing to say to you. Sorry! What a moment. But right now, we want to take this moment to honor the original voices of Impact Wrestling, the great Mike Tanay and Don West. <laughs> All right, we're ready. We're ready in the truck. Here we go. Right. I'm Mike Tanay along with my TNA broadcast colleague, Don West. They entertained us. <laughs> made us laugh. Like while you're in ass kissing mode, why don't you uh, kiss Sting's ass as well? Made us feel. <laughs> but most of all, they were like family and friends. The iconic voice of TNA, the professor, Mike Tanay. It's all about total non-stop action. The color commentator whose outsized colorful personality engaged and energized us all, Don West. The king of the mountain will be later on today. No, the king, Elvis Presley. You found him. enthralled us, captivated us. That's freaking unbelievable, Vital! I don't believe it! Kurt Angle's coming to TNA! They were, and still are, the very embodiment of TNA. Restart! Oh, yeah, yeah. Restart! Restart! Yeah. Restart. Mike and Don for all the moments and all the unforgettable memories. Your voices will echo forever in our hearts. That's it. I think that's it. All right, good job, guys. Matt Thomas, great to be right back here on the grounds of the old asylum 
where it all began for Impact Wrestling 20 years ago. But this is not old home week. This is going to be a war, a 10-man war tonight, featuring my guest at this time, the Motor City Machine Guns, Frankie Kazarian and Nick Aldis. Oh, man, it's going to get brutal. But before we get to it, guns, congratulations, are in order. Fan poll says you are the most impactful team in the history of Impact Wrestling. And to me, there was never a doubt. There's been a lot of great tag teams that have stepped into an Impact ring. We can name them, just a few. The Hardys, Team 3D, America's Most Wanted, Generation Me, Bad Influence, a British Invasion, but the Motor City Machine Guns came out in number one because we redefined tag team wrestling. And that's not what tonight's about. It's a nice accolade to have, yeah. but tonight has a different meaning altogether. Yeah, that's right. Tonight isn't just a celebration. It isn't just about celebrating the 20 year history of this company. It's about defending it. See, Honor No More has been running around this place doing whatever the hell they want. They injured Rhino, they injured Heath. Well, tonight, that all ends. Frankie, it could get bad out there. It probably will get bad, but it's about celebration tonight. It's good to see you again, my oh, friend. You too. And we are all in celebratory moods, are we not? But we're also in a mood to fight. Honor No More, I hope you're in a mood to fight as well, all of you. The guy that thinks he's Rob Zombie, the guy that thinks he's Frankenstein, the guy with the backwards hat who has the wife, the guy that's a Celtics fan, they just lost in the NBA Finals, no, you see that? Really and the other trendy guy from Boston. I hope you boys are ready to bring it, because tonight, we're gonna lay it on the line in the name of Impact Wrestling. Nick? You know, when you look at this lineup of individuals, it doesn't necessarily make sense to the naked eye. Different shapes, different sizes, different walks of life, different styles, different accents. But the one thing we all have in common is we take pride in our profession, and we love this business, and we also appreciate the opportunity that was given to us. Because in this business, you're only as good as the opportunity extended to you. And the reason that we were all able to make our mark in professional wrestling is because of the opportunity extended to us by Impact Wrestling. I am not a math major. One, two, three, four, it's a 10-man war. Somebody's missing. Who's the fifth guy? You wanna take a one? Nick? Well, okay, Jen, listen. The one thing I can say, there were a lot of applicants, right? But when we saw this name on the list, we agreed it's a no-brainer. He's the one. They're keeping it kayfabe as always. We'll find out when everybody finds out. Hey, you know what? We've walked among legends here at Impact Wrestling. Some are going to be here tonight. Some wanted to send an extra special message like this legend. TNA was, uh, it was an outlet for me to get my way back into the wrestling industry. Got a phone call from Jeff Jarrett, and it was started out as just a one-off kind of a deal. We did one one-off, and then another one-off, and then uh, Dixie Carter entered the picture, and Kurt Angle, and the rest is history, and I decided I was gonna come back on a more full-time deal. I do have some highlight memories uh, being with uh, TNA, and, and you know, my character has evolved so many times over the years, but I had a chance to, to really step out of the box big time and be Joker Singh. And to this day, I do have people when I see them in airports or, you know, little meet and greets that I do here and there. Man, I love that Joker Singh character. And it was a good time. Lots of great matches with Abyss. Even Hogan, one of his last matches. Maybe, maybe his last real match, I don't know. And then Kurt Angle, he pushed me to my limits. Jeff Jarrett, Samoa Joe. It was a fun time. Best of luck to all of you. Tear it up. It's Happy anniversary, Impact Wrestling. It was Huntsville, Alabama, 2002, when myself, Jerry Lynn, and Lowkey wrestled the Flying Elvises. That's when it all started. That was the first match. And then from there, it was Jeff Jarrett and Raven, the X Division, the Ultimate X. The Elevation X. Matches that I will never forget. The matches with Kurt Angle were unbelievable. 
But the match that, that changed everything was myself, Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels in 2005. No, we weren't six foot five, jacked. But we changed things because of who we were. It wasn't about weight limits. It was about no limits in the exhibition. We transcended wrestling. We changed it. You, the fans, voted AJ Styles as most impactful X Division wrestler. And not only that, but most impactful male wrestler. Thank you. It means everything coming from you, the fans. And AJ Styles would still be AJ Styles, but how phenomenal would I be without Impact Wrestling? So thank you. I want to thank WWE for allowing me to do this because they understand that this is a special moment for me. Impact Wrestling, I had a glass in my hand. I'd say here's to the next 20 years. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My God. You gotta be kidding me. Here we go! The, Miss Dixie, the former TNA president and majority owner, Dixie Carter, is at Slammiversary! I can't believe this! Thank you. It is surreal being here 20 years after our first night, guys. It feels like just yesterday. I just want to say to every talent that ever stepped in the ring for us, thank you. For the incredible production crew, our crew themselves, the staff. They didn't think we'd be around for six months, and here we are celebrating 20 years. We would not be here. From the bottom of my heart, we would not be here without every fan who bought a ticket, who tuned in, who bought a pay-per-view, a t-shirt. Thank you so much for what you've meant to this company. Happy Slammiversary, and here's to 20 more years. I'm honored to be here tonight, but I'm also honored to announce the fifth member of the Impact Originals is Davey Richards. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Here we are, boys. Davey Richards in the house. What's Eddie Edwards saying about this? I was just going to say, if there's anything that's going to get into the head, get into the craw of Honor No More's leader, it is his former partner, his fellow wolf, Davey Richards. D'Lo Brown! Sky High! Boom! You better recognize! The referee is outside the ring trying to deal with all this chaos. Checking on his son. Oh, baby. I see that look in D'Lo's eyes. It's no time way. to get froggy. No way. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, D'Lo. Honor no more took oh, out D'Lo. He's got the top. In January, D'Lo's winning That's a throw. Throw. He's, he's milking it. He wants to get the pop, and he's got oh. it, baby. My God. You're looking at the real deal now. This time, please welcome the person who will actually be conducting this interview. She is a TNA original and the first backstage interviewer here, Goldilocks. Gia, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for holding down the fort here at Impact Wrestling. I know it's no easy task. Lots of craziness happening, and you handle it like a consummate pro. But do you mind if I interview this amazing person who has been voted by, 
by the people, by you, by the fans. The most impactful knockout of the last 20 years of company history. Ladies and gentlemen, you know her, you love her, the beautiful. Please come in here and say hello to me, Gail Kim. Woo! So great to see you. Just congratulations on being voted. I mean, you are, you're the girl, you're the bomb. You are, you're the OG, the, you're it. Thank you so much. I mean, not only thank you to the fans, but for women like you who came before me, to the company, thank you, Impact Wrestling, for giving us the women an opportunity when no one else did. I mean, look at this match that just happened. The Queen of the Mountain match. We made history. Jordan Grace, the new knockout world champion. I'm just, goosebumps. I am just so looking forward to what the future holds the next 20 years. Are you not proud of how far we've come? Proud isn't even the word. Gail, congratulations. I don't think we're done yet. Oh, my God. What? Could it be? It is Father James Mitchell. And the final participant, accompanied to the ring by Father James Mitchell, representing the new church, Slash. I can't believe this. I can't either. James Mitchell and Slash back in the end oh. zone, and this is kicking off.